What's up dudes, Ninja here and welcome back to another epic episode of Minecraft and guys today I am going to be showing you the second part of how to play my oh, what is, oh yeah Team Fortress 2. I got a little bit distracted there. Yeah, so guys today I'm gonna be showing you the rule not the rules. I'm gonna be showing you the how to play in the classes and guys I forgot to finish off these classes. I will be finishing them off a little bit later. Oops. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna just be showing you what's down here in those two chairs, these these things, and all the other signs. So first, let's show you the how to play. So how to play. This is where I started from the other one. How do you play? Two of the eight players. There are four control points that will increase your time. Some of the microphone will have a timer. I sat down in the previous episode. Point one is five minutes, guys. Po then point two is eight. Then point three is eleven minutes, and point four is nine. So yeah. So so now let's get on with this. Red is defenders. Goal: stop blue from pushing them fourth mine, the Minecraft to the fourth control point. Don't break. The minecart, don't, P.S. don't get in the minecart, I forgot to say that. Goal, so this is blue, which is attackers. Goal, push the minecart to red's fourth control point before running out, before time runs out. And don't break and get in the minecart. Yeah, so now let's show you the classes. And guys, in these chests, it'll let build caps and uh, some arrows. Even the other one, and some more arrows. Now, I'm going to show you all Red's classes. So, Scout, Soldier, Pyro, Demo, Heavy, Medic, Sniper, and Spy. So, let's start off with Scout. Yes, Scout has an Iron Sword, Infinity Bow. He's quite weak. He's one of the weakest classes in the game. He's got his boots are green because, guys, boots tell you what class you are and the helmets tell you what team you are. And... Yes, so, and he has speed potions, really good ones. Number two for four minutes. Now, Soldier, we're moving on to Soldier, which is one of the strongest classes in the game. He has a diamond sword, power five, punch two, and infinity. Because the reason why he has punch two, because he kind of knocks back his enemies when he shoots them. Well, not, not really. He has iron on his iron armor and he has gray boots because that's the color of soldier so he's pretty strong he hits really hard actually this is the strongest bow in the game now pyro pyro has a diamond sword and he's got a flame one bow he's got golden armor he's got orange boots and fire resistance and guys you might be wondering why does he have a stick and it's called air blast the stick is there because uh he can knock back his enemies with, by right right clicking on his uh on his flame thrower so it knocks back his enemies a little bit but this can knock them back quite far like it can knock them in the water in the lava yeah so now let's move on to demo man demo and plus demo man is really good you know why boom sharpness two sword with knockback one i don't know why he had knockback one i just decided to add it onto him he's got a power two bow infinity so and he's got gold armor with um yellow boots and he's got instant damage potions if you don't know what these are you, you i don't think you've used these potions before um on a test subject so what they do is they just hurt they hurt Players, even enemies, guys, they're pretty good. They do quite some damage. They're only number one because I didn't put number two, otherwise, they'll probably nearly be done. Plus, this is one of the best classes in this game. Now, we're moving on to Heavy. All the classes are nearly done. Heavy has a diamond sword, a power free bow with infinity one on it. He has got diamond armor, the only class with diamond. But the annoying thing is, when you hit him, you have to drink slowness potions. Because if you, you might be wondering, why does he, does he have to drink slowness potions? It's because he's the slowest 
class in the entire game. So now we're moving on to Medic. The Medic has got leather armor, a stone sword, Infinity Bow. He's the weakest class in the entire game. Yeah, really he is. Well, yeah. And plus, the girl, and he's got pink boots, plus he can heal his teammates, which is really cool. Well, he can only do regeneration on them. And guys, I recommend you, it would be cool with four players on each team, which is like eight. Which is with eight players, so yeah. Medic's pretty, pretty good, actually. On heavy, he's really good on heavy. Now, Sniper. Sniper has an iron sword. He's got the same effects as the um, as the soldier because he's got the same power. He's got power punch and infinity. Power punch and infinity. I don't know why I gave him punch. I even though it doesn't knock back his enemies, I just decided to do it just so he won't die that much because he's really hard, man. I just don't know why I want him not to die that much. He's got golden armor and. In dark green um, boots. Now we move on to the last class, which is Spy. He is the most hardest in the entire game. He's got a stone sword and he's got another sword. You might be wondering why does he have two swords? It's like he only use one sword. But he's got another sword called the Backstabber, and he can only use it at, for hitting hitting people in the back. He can't use them for stabbing people in the front. He can only stab them in the back with this item. And he, the reason why is because in Team Fortress 2, backstabbing kill enemies in one entire hit, which is really powerful. Now, and he has white boots, which is pretty cool. He's got invisibility potion. And guys, he's allowed to take off his boots when he's invisible. It's just, it's just part of the rules. Plus, you can see the particles. So, yeah, that's the only annoying thing about him. Guys, plus engineer is not in this. And guys, so those are all the classes. You might be thinking, we're done. But no, we're not. We're going to go down here. And guys, down here, you might be wondering, what's down here? It's another room filled with them. And you might be wondering, why do you need two rooms filled with classes? It's because in the game, the armor really does break really, really fast, guys. Plus, as you can see, there's more boots. I forgot that I should have added in some more on swiftness potions. That will be coming in, in in the next update. So yeah, that will be coming in. And yeah, there's more of them. The bomb chests are are there. Yeah, and there's yeah, guys. They're just rooms filled with. Oh, uh, like, this is just a room filled with, like, lots of other stuff. And, guys, you might be wondering, what are in these chests? And, guys, top potions are harming and regeneration at the bottom. You're like, ooh, so every class can take these. No, only medic and general man. But, guys, remember, um, regeneration is the, the bottom chest and harming is the top chest, as you can see by that. But, guys, harming is only for the demo man. Can only be opened by the demo man, and the bomb chest can only be opened by the medic with more extra potions. It's got about it's about nine times six, which is fifty four regeneration potions. That's a lot, which is a lot, guys. So guys, if you guys have seen the entire map and you want, to, if you guys haven't seen the full map, look at the size of this. This is huge. I'll show you guys. Um, the map before, but guys, oh, I forgot to show you something before I end the video. So, guys, as you can see, there's a little redstone circuit. And guys, you know that lever inside of the um, that says that has the start game where I just, where I start the video. Have you seen that part and remembered it? Um, once I flick down this lever, it turns off this redstone torch, pulling this redstone block back, so it drops all these items because it's. The redstone box next to it, it won't drop down items. So once the redstone block is back, it will drop down items. Yes. Go through along here, turn off all these, open the gates. Opening the gates, and yeah. So, yeah. So guys, that's basically how it works. 
So, guys, um, you cannot flick down the lever until everyone has chosen their classes. So that's how it works, guys. You cannot flick down. Once the um, lever flicks down, this door will open. So everyone can go. So guys, but red has applied to spawn point three. And yeah, so yeah, right in this spawn point here. So guys, oh guys, I just want to... And guys, and by the way, I just want to let you know, I'm doing an A and Q and A, which is a question and answer, where you guys ask me questions, guys, and, and I'll answer them. But you guys, um, if you tell me where I live, I only tell you the country where I live. So guys, so guys, I will be doing that a little bit later in the future. But guys, thank you for watching this video. If guys, if you liked it, make sure you hit the like button. And guys, if you like me, subscribe. And yeah. So guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. And peace out.